what's up we're back at it again with another video welcome or welcome back in today's video in my channel which is your channel we have the sandal palette from natasha denona this baby it's new and if you're ready to see what's up with it and how did i create this look and all my final thoughts no bs and no filter keep on watching Mwah. bye Yes, and all the movement is because I'm standing up. I can't sit down. Yes, I'm bloated. I'm fucked up. I have my fat going on. Listen, man. Yes, I'm all like raggedy right now. Looking like a hot mess. But I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. And I missed you guys so damn much. You guys don't have a clue. Before we continue with this video, don't forget that I would love for you to be part of the Steffi Glam R Us fam because we all glamorous up in here. So go down below and click the little red button so you can become part of it. It was two long ass weeks for real, but finally I'm here and I have you guys right here with me. We're yes. feeling a lot better. Not 100% yet, but we're getting there. I just needed to get back to work, so here we are. I really don't have no pain. The only thing right now is that I can't sit down and I'm just very swollen. I'm over here looking like a pig and I literally stand all day. So you know when you're swollen and you're standing on your feet, it gets really, really, really bad, like really painful. If you guys know some good tips, tricks, whatever you guys know for the swollen, let me know in the comment section let down below. Sip it and let's go straight to the point. Don't worry. I am going to be coming up with another video of everything about the surgery, how it is, what it was exactly, what I'm feeling. I haven't watched no videos. Even though I was dying, imagine I'm there laying down and all I wanted to do is just watch videos, but I did and I really don't like to watch videos before I review a product. I don't like that to like change my mind or whatever and even though I did have some of my friends that already reviewed the palette you know telling me that it's kind of like a missing hit so I'm just dying to find out what's up with this palette so here we have the sandal palette beautiful packaging but the fingerprint is real I took this baby out of the box I thought it was like the same color of the bronze palette but it's not you see the bronze palette it's more like like bronze more golden and this one it's copper the palette is 65 dollars we're getting some beautiful warm tones and this palette is inspired on the mini sandal which of course i do have i'm pretty sure you could tell it's well loved i don't see a ton of similarities to be honest with you this one to me it's a little bit more cool tone and this one is a little bit more warm so it claims to provide maximum color payoff minimal effort and pro level results ultra long lasting vibrant I'm gonna be honest with you when I first saw this in pictures I really didn't get so excited to me it looked a little bit boring it still looked a little bit boring on hand and on the eyes after I show you how I created this look I'm gonna tell you what I think about that let's go I'm gonna show you how I created the look and after that I'm gonna give you some comparison some swatches and all that good stuff with my Bikki Beauty 201 we're gonna start with balance that's gonna be my transition color starting from my outer V and I'm gonna bring it all the way into my crease so with the same brush BK Beauty 201 I'm gonna go into the shade Vigor it's like a burgundy shade and I'm gonna pack it right here on my outer V and whatever I have left on my brush I'm gonna just bring it in a little bit into my crease I'm gonna be grabbing my Wayne Gash on the shade Precious Opa and I'm gonna place it right here on my outer V I'm gonna create a messy wing I'm gonna be blending it out any brown liner would do with a smaller blending brush, this is the classic crease from Sonia G. I'm gonna dig in into bigger again, and I'm gonna use that shade to blend my liner. So I'm gonna grab, so I'm gonna go in circular motions right on top of the liner. With the same blending brush, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, seal, and I'm gonna apply 
a little bit right here on my other V. I'm, I'm just mixing up those two shades. I did like the color that came out right here for my other V. So that's what happened with you just you just gotta keep trying. For the outer part of my lower lash, I'm gonna be grabbing the shade Mantra with my flat defender from Sonia G. And I'm only gonna bring the shade halfway through my lower lash. For the inner part, I'm gonna be using the same brush, but let me wet it really quick, and I'm gonna go into Luster. Now the fun part, we're gonna be working with the shimmers and off rip, I'm gonna tell you that these shimmers, they're like, mm, they're not booming, like they're not really that much intense. They're a little bit too sheer for my personal liking. So yes, we do need to help the shimmers. I am gonna be wetting my brush with a little bit of setting spray. It is what it is. With my Worker Pro from Sonia G, I'm gonna be going in the shade Aura, and I'm gonna apply on the inner part of my eye. See, like, even when you wet them, they're just so sheer, like. I really wish they were a little bit more intense. I wiped up my brush and now I'm gonna go into this shade, what's the name? Tranquil. It's a nice pretty pink. And I'm gonna place it right here next to our... With the other side of my brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Flow. And I'm gonna apply right here on the center of my lid. That freaking blue looks so pretty right here in the pan. Like, that's what I want, and that's not what I'm getting on my eye at all. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Mantra and I'm gonna apply it right here. Back with my blending brush, and I don't have nothing on my brush. I'm just kind of brushing from side to side, making a transition between the outer V shade and that blue. This is back with my Vegan Beauty 201. Again, I don't have nothing on the brush. I'm just using it to make sure I don't have no harsh lines and to blend one shade with the other. I just peeped something. Do you see how I was just blending and extremely soft? Like I was barely touching my skin, just so you know. And some of the blue and some of my outer V shade came off. You see, like that patch right here. I don't have no eye primer. The only thing that I have on my lids is the same concealer that I'm using for my under eyes, which I'm always using with whatever look I create. And this never really happened to me before. Like this happened after me wearing an eye look for crazy amount of hours and then I come home late as fuck and then yes I have a little bit of cracking on my lids that's normal but within the same hour of me creating a look this don't happen my eyelids are not oily and it's really bad like you can see it Again, I'm gonna be swatching Mindful, which is a cream to powder formula. And that swatch, really nice. Luster, which is a metallic formula. That's also pretty. Oh my God, I should have created a look with this shade. Balance, it's a classic matte. nice and creamy we have flow which is a metallic and we have mantra it is a cream to powder formula like look i didn't like how this one swatch we have aura which is a dual chrome and vigor it is a classic matte This one right here, Vigor, feels very um, shocky. We have Relief, it is a cream to powder, and Equilibrium, it is metallic. We have Brief, it's a cream to powder, and Scent, it's a nice metallic shade. Tranquil, it is metallic and calm cream to powder. This is barely 
showing. We got two more, Yama, which is a duochrome, and Seal, it is a classic matte. This one is very dry. So this is all the swatches. They swatch pretty good, to be honest with you. So I swatched the mini sendo right here. We're getting one, two, three, four, and five shades. And I want you to compare them really quick. And as you can see, they really don't look like they are in the same family. This is way more colorful, way more warm. And in the mini sendo, we're getting a silver cool tone. This purple looks very cool tone to me. I really like this pink, which we really don't have nothing like that in the big sandal. And they really don't look like they're from the same family. But the each is own. I have right here the sandal palette next to the bronze palette. And as we can see, this is way more golden, way more browns, bronze. This is just colors. It's colors, but very sheer toned down colors. It's really not the same. I am gonna be swatching maybe this gold next to this one right here, but this one, it's like a little bit more orangey gold. And then I'm gonna be swatching this one, Aura, next to Bliss and next to Tranky. Let's see what's up. So, this shade right here, Ali, and Luster from the Sendo Patle, they're very similar. Look at this. Same undertone, same shade, same shift. That's one shade right there that we already have in the bronze palette. Now I compare these two shades, Tranky and Aura, next to Bliss, which I really love this shade from the bronze palette. And they're totally, totally different. The Circo Loco palette that it just came out not so long ago and again they're not the same they're really not even close and the only you know similarity that i will find which not even on pictures if anything that that did cross my mind was the blues i did say it to myself like them those blues look a little bit like the one in Circo Loco Palette, but having them on hands, they are really not the same. So these three right here are the one from the Sendo Palette, and these ones are the one from the Circo Loco Palette. As you can see, they're all different. They all have their own little thing, and they're all very so unique. I saw some pictures of people comparing the Sendo Palette to the Circo Loco Palette that I just showed you, and the sunrise palette they were saying that if you have this in the circle local palette then you pretty much have the sendo palette and we about to find out let me put the, the sendo palette right next to these two babies and let's see what's the drill i really don't think so at all like the sunrise palette it is the buy if we're getting yellows orange like you got the sun right there. The Circo Loco Palette, it is totally like a mix and match. Like, yo, go ahead and create a look with purple and a green. That's the Circo Loco Palette. It's a crazy palette. And this is just really more organized. Like, more for like, like people that don't really like to wear a lot of color. That's this. It's not even one shade in the Sendo palette that looks like any of this one from the Sunrise palette, just so you know. And we are done with the comparisons. I do have some other Natasha Nona palettes, but I didn't pull them out because the color story it is completely different. What do I think about this palette? Let me start with what's up with the claims of the palette having a maximum color payoff, vibrant, blah, blah, blah like there's barely a color payoff like you have to kind of like dig in and dig in to get the max out of it they did swatch really nice but they don't perform the same on the eyes at all 
I actually needed to wet my brush in order to get some type of pigmentation from the shimmers on my lids and yes I always wet my brush that's just me that's what I like it's a habit but I really don't have to when it comes to Natasha Denona palette and I'm not sure what it's going on in here it's just not giving it to me it didn't give it to me when I saw it in pictures and it's not giving it to me now after me playing with it like if you love colors if you like to create colorful looks then this is definitely not going to be your cup of tea if you are a beginner if you are really not into the whole color payoff I want a lot of pigmentation then this might hit the spot it's just really calm really toned down if you're like me and you really like to create these bold looks, then this palette is going to be really boring. It's just not giving it to me. It didn't give it to me in pictures. It's not giving it to me right now. This look that I created is just supposed to be so much fun, so much more bold. Me mixing the pink with the green, I really thought I was going to get something like, wow, crazy. And as you can see, it's really like, hmm. Okay, working on my lids. That really never happened to me with none of Natasha and Nona palettes. I need you guys to let me know what's up. If you bought the palette, is this happening to you? Let me know in the comment section down below because this is really, really annoying me. So do I think you need the palette? No, you don't need the palette. And I really don't recommend you the palette. I mean, for what? No, if you want to send the honey, get the mini. This is nice. You can create beautiful looks with it. I be applying this on Matter V and then this silver on my whole entire leg. And it's popping. It's beautiful. And if I'm not mistaken, this is like less than half, $20, $25. It's little. It's mini. Is it to use? What else do you want? This, it is way better in my opinion than all these colors right here that they're just not doing anything. Either ways, for those babes that already have the palette, I am going to keep playing with the palette. I'm going to see what's up, see if I keep getting the little crackers on my lids. And I am going to be creating more little shorts here and there, creating many, many looks so I can give you guys an idea of looks you can create with this palette. And I love you guys so damn much to the moon and back. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope now you're considering subscribing. Go down below and click the little red button. Don't forget to put your notification bell on so YouTube kind of notifies you every time I upload new videos. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Mwah! See you on the next one.